Hi everyone, it's Nick here from Turnip Stuffish. I need to do more digital drawing. So this is my plan for 2019. So I'm going to do a little doodle and hopefully it's all going to come together like a beautiful plan. So I'm going to, uh, I've got an idea for this, a moss troll. I'm not sure why, but uh, I'm going to draw a moss troll I think. So uh, <coughs> let's get a little head in. I'm just going to do some basic shapes. I might have him like hunched down, so I'm going to hunk the head down and put the body up, yeah. Uh, like a pear shape, kind of like that. So we would have like his, I'm going to give him like a club. Should he have it over his shoulder? Mm. I'm not sure, or maybe he should have it, maybe he's got like gangly arms and it's just like <coughs> laying down here. I don't know, something like that. We'll, so we'll start with that. We can have like gangly legs. I was going to say he looks like me if he's got gangly legs. He's going to have a leg out there. Just basic shapes, got a little triangle for foot. That kind of works. I'll put the flat of the hand in a little square. I'm gonna have to get some fingers around there. He needs to be thinking, so he needs to be like picking his nose or picking his ear or something. Maybe he'll have his finger in his ear. So he's kind of got his finger in his ear, something up in here. Because of that, he's got his head turned. So I'll just put these little cross crosshairs on. We can do something like that. Let's, let's, let's see if we can work with that. This um going to lighten down my very first shapes. Let's start building something in here. He's going to have, what's he going to have? He's going to have a just a basic shape for a nose. Or he's going to have these big nostrils. We'll worry about that later. He's going to... Gonna have a funny expression with his finger in his ear. Maybe he has a little tooth out. These are like big flappy ears that will sit over. Something like that. I don't know. Kind of looks fun. He's like the idea was he was like he's got covered in moss or something so he's got like all this growth over his back maybe you should have it on his head as well like it's a little moss haircut he's got his finger in here we can do that just get some muscle shapes in there so we can build this up I think I've got his eyes the wrong way around. Hang on, let me get my rubber. Get a little bit stronger. That's a bit better. <coughs> Something like that. Right, deltoid, shoulder muscle down into the arm, something like that, so we'll work off human anatomy, do the forearm, come down into the hand, and he's going to have, he's going to hold this big weapon, right in there, bit of a tree stump, I'm going to make it too th thin, he's going to carry this huge rock, he needs to feel like I guess a tree or some tree roots or something. Yeah. And he's going to have his fingers coming around it. Make sure it's always the hand is thicker than the object you're holding. It's going to wrap around that object. <coughs> Excuse me. And we're going to have a big, like, boulder kind of in here. And he's got a bit of a tree sticking out the top, apparently. Something like that. 
right, let's work on how would we build this up. And that arm needs to come up. We build this body up. He's going to have what some mossy undergarments, or we'll be flashing a bit too much flesh otherwise. Something like this. Let's build the uh, calf muscles. Get some exaggerated shape. Maybe bring that foot a bit more forward. You have a big toe with a big nail sticking out of it. That's it. Come down to the knee. I'm not sure I like that leg, so I'm just changing. Be that there. Yeah, it works. Something like that. I don't know. We'll keep going. We'll see what it looks like. I'm gonna just pull this layer down. See if I can kind of get into it, make it more interesting. I'm just gonna doodle away. We like this big nose. We are gonna create a little bit of shape on the top of that nose, and then big nostrils. Yeah, he's a troll. He's got big nostrils, isn't he? Keep this little, keep his little tooth. We'll kind of get some shape detail on this eye. And get him a little bit like he's thinking. As he's picking his eye, picking his ear, because there's a lot of concentration for a troll when he's picking his ear. Something like that. Yeah. Right, let's give him some cheekbones. So give him like some that'll create some shape and we'll come down into his chin. Oh I think we're giving him a bit more like a chiselly chin. That all works. Oh we'll put some hairs on. That's always fun. Right, let's get back up to our, our mossy hair. I'm going to start creating some shape, a bit more shape on this mossy hair. And we'll get a little bit of shape on this skull as it rolls down. And we've got these flappy ears. Let's put some holes on the edge of these flappy ears. I'm doing something like that. Oh, no. We'll add some detail. Right, so what's this other ear? The, the, we're going to do some little nicks and it's kind of like rolling <coughs> in there. We've got a, big, we've got a big troll finger in there. Let's get like a bit of a nail in there and a knuckle. Yeah! And we'll uh, get some other fingers in. I think he's got three fingers. Kind of fun, something to draw on it, right? What's, what do we need to get some detail around here? Like he's got some little ties around his his wrist or something. Maybe we could have a little skull on it or something. I don't know. Let's get that muscle in there a bit from the forearm. A bit muscle down to the elbow. Let me come back to that. Oh, let's look at the bicep coming in there. We'll figure some more of that out in a minute. We build in this, just build his pectoral muscles in there. So put his pecs in. He's busy under the rocks all day, so he's got big, strong muscles. He's got his bit of a six-pack going on, apparently. Do something like this. We'll come down into the rib. And then we draw the lats that come down. Let's get a shoulder, the deltoid, we'll put that back in. Then we'll get to the bicep and tricep. Let's do that in. Yeah, no, no, that's kind of fun, isn't it? Let's just have a little check where we are. Yeah, something to draw on it. Yeah. Elbow down into our arm. 
And again, let's get, we need something that gets a bit more character, a little bit detail on this, so it's just not. So we're just putting this, I don't know what this is, a strap or something. Make sure it's thicker than the arm. Remember the objects need thicknesses around things. Just help pop your drawing a bit more, doesn't it? All right, and we can come to a little skinny wrist and then this. Let's get a knuckle in there and a finger that's going to come around and another one and another knuckle and another knuckle. And we were only doing three fingers, weren't we? So something like this, yeah. <coughs> Let's get to this moss on the back and see if we can make it look interesting. I'm trying to vary these shapes. Don't want to make it look like flames though, but we'll, we'll see what we can create. So I'm just varying the shapes and I've got varied line thicknesses. Might add a little bit of additional detail. Yeah, kind of enjoying this. Some fun, make sure they're not too symmetrical. Maybe you need to have some little growths coming out of it. Maybe a little mushroom. And we'll have some more little mushrooms going out here. Another one in there. A bit there and a, I don't know, some little flies or something hanging off it. Let's have a look. <laughs> That's kind of fun. Silly. We can do silly. So we're gonna come down here. We're gonna we're gonna need some strapping, like holding up his his awesome clothes, so he doesn't get too cold in the wind. Looks like we're going with this mossy kind of thing. I might make this a bit wider, it's a bit like a puffy skirt or something. Just get a little bit more shape into it. It's gonna sit around this leg, and then I might just drop it. And just try and create a bit more variety in its shape. Yeah, I kind of like that. Right, let's get a little bit more detail, a little bit more pattern detail, really, is what this is. So I'm going to come back to it. And it's just a sketch. I'm just having fun. I'm not too worried. So we're just kind of looking at it. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Right. Let's get this tree working, this tree stump. It's going to come up here, and there's going to be a little bit of a a root sticking out of there and we've got this big root here that's gonna <coughs> gnarled all root one dropping out of there we'll have a little one a bit of abstraction not all the same size or shape we'll come up here and we'll we'll stick one out behind yeah that's kind of fun we'll just pull this down a bit We'll do this, but maybe we need a little branch off here, like there's half a branch still sticking off it, so it doesn't feel too perfect. And we'll put some a little bit of detail, simple detail. Yeah. <clears throat> We've got the top of that, this tree roots kind of coming out. Can try and make it feel a bit rounded. Yes, the coughing. The coughing is Lexi. Lexi's here. Lexi, say hi. Hi. She's working hard on something, <laughs> something exciting for everyone. Probably manga related. While well, I'm doodling, a strange troll. Don't ask. That's what we get up to. Something like this. A little bit of deep, a bit of fun on there. Something like that. Yeah, cool. <clears throat> right, legs. Still not sure if I'm happy with where I place these legs, really. He looks fun so far. Yeah, he's kind of funny. <laughs> so let's get this leg in. Oh, I'm not sure about these legs. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do another layer. I'm just going to zoom back out again and see if I can... get a more interesting weight balance of some kind. Just like this, maybe it's something like that. It's as simple as that. We'll see. Oops, making this a bit untidy now. Let's get a little bit of shape in this leg, and then we're gonna 
Let's see if we can have a little bit of fun with this calf. Kind of draw a crazy kind of toenail and a crazy ankle bone, and we got some other toes that we've got to stick. Oh, nice. We'll get the other leg in. And we'll just actually drop it right behind you. You won't see a lot of it in the end. So we'll do something like that. Maybe we need some a little bit of detail like we did on the arms. So a little bit of strapping here with some of this kind of mossy edge. And maybe we'll put some strapping up here as well. It's good. It just kind of shows the rounded object. A bit, a bit careless there, that's all right, it's not the end of the world. Make sure it's got some thickness. Yeah, yeah it's all right, it's a silly cartoon. I'm not sure that foot is very flat. So I'm just going to um, gonna tweak that foot a bit. I think it might look better if it was a bit flatter. It might need to be a bit bigger as well, being a troll. Like he's got big, flappy fleet. Let's go back to my brush. I'll go back to this layer and see if I can... Just that little triangle shape and come back in here. Let me lighten. See, I'm putting the opacity down on this layer. Let me come back in here. A little big toe. That's it. And my other toes. Oh, mate, it's got a little bit. It's a little bit stinky here, so I put some little stinky lines on. <coughs> right, a little bit of shape. I'll just put, give him a collarbone up there. He needs a collarbone, a little bit of shape around his deltoid. So maybe there's a little bit of negative shape in there. I think he needs to, he doesn't feel quite like he's standing on the ground, so I'm just gonna go to edit, I'm gonna transform, I'm gonna skew it very slightly. I wanna just wanna do that, bring that hammer down so it feels like it's kind of horizontal there. Yeah, awesome. It's gonna name this level, it's my little line drawing, and I'm gonna chuck in some flat colours. And uh, what is he? He's going to be like this mossy kind of troll thing. So we're going to drop in. We need a mid tone just to drop in. We're going to get a slightly bigger brush. Don't want to worry too much at this stage. Yeah. Down here. Quite like I've got a little bit of texture on this brush, and I'm just kind of playing. So it's a bit like a crayon or something, charcoal. So it's really playing with it, not worried too much. Just putting in flat, it's only a little sketch, so I'm not. I think it's also just trying to show that how fast, if you're working digitally, how fast you can work. You don't have to. Sometimes people are a bit prissy, I don't know, about colouring in. It's like, just blast those colours in, we'll build it up in a minute. <coughs> we'll work it up. I'm just going to lock my background, double click on that, and I'm going to put a very slight... I'm just going to take it off white a sec. I'm going to grab my fill bucket. I'm going to go back in there. I'm just going to lock that. Come back into my colours. I'm going to pick that colour. And uh, I'm just going to put some really simple. Let's see our light sources come in here. So we're going to need a, a little bit of a drop shadow in here. In here, drop shadow, cast shadows. On the other side. It's just really basic form construction. Not really, really not worrying too much. Just. See what happens. Oh, he didn't get the rest of that earring. He didn't draw the rest of that earring. I'll just do it as a shadow. Drop shadow or cast shadow from that arm. 
can have a little bit of shaping around these pectoral muscles. Drop shadow, a little bit of form shadow in a six pack. Cast shadow, a little bit of cast shadow, a little bit of form shadow. Yeah. It's kind of fun and silly. Can I I'm gonna grab a little, I'm gonna make a little colour palette because I'm gonna use that skin colour I had. I'm gonna grab that darker colour a sec. I'm gonna go there. But I wanna go add a little bit of yellow to the light. So I wanna create a lighter colour, but I wanna colour pick this colour here. I'm just gonna grab that light colour again and see what I come up with. Let's try this. Right, go get get some mossy colours in here. Well, it's very vibrant, isn't it? We should use the same down here. We're just trying to. We won't want too many colours in the end, just to keep it simple, kind of. I know harmonious colour palette. There he is. It's looking kind of funky. I tend to colour everything on the same layer as well, which is what you're seeing me do. I just find it easier. And lots of separate layers all the time. Let's block in some other colours there. Oh, let's just. Oh, let me grab that green again. So I'll call it there. Let's get this stone. Mm, I'm going to do this stone. It's coming kind of to these greys, but. Yes, yeah, so there's a little bit of green in this grey. What do you think? That's epic, isn't it? My epic troll. So jealous. You wish you could draw trolls like me. What I got in my head is, didn't you wish you could draw a troll trolling the school like me? Well, it's a classic pop song about a troll, obviously. <laughs> it. Yeah! <laughs> Troll madness. Let's use some of that brown in here. Right, let's go back into this green. Let's just kind of just drop some form shapes, form shadows in, I guess. Du -du 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 -du. Not worry too. You can tell I'm not worried that too much. I'm just kind of playing around. Let's um let's grab that brown and just do some basic Yeah keep it lighter there I think. I'm just gonna grab so I guess it looks a bit like a bandage when I do it this colour. We'll see. We'll see if this works. I don't want to use too many different colours. So. Grab a little bit of that green and we'll just that's it, that works. Maybe that dark green. Let's get some darker colours in here. Back to my brush. Scoop it down a bit. Make these try and make this stand out a bit. <coughs> Get 
guess I'm just using a bit of cross hatch for detail. Don't know. I'm not trying to create a really smooth image here. I'm just kind of having a fun, adding a bit of texture. We'll see what comes. See what comes together. Get a little bit of this colour in here. It's probably the wrong value, so it needs to come darker because it was. I need, I need this hair to stand out on top, I think, so it kind of. S I'll grab that. What we'll do is try and grab. Get some yellow into that. Let's see. Um, I think what we need though is to get some real kind of vivid orangey. <coughs> some little bits in there. Grab these darker colours again, so I'm just colour picking from the colour palette now all the time. Not always, not trying to create new colours all the time, just trying to use the colours I've got and then build up. Just trying to create a bit of pattern and texture. Let's get this lighter colour if I can, yep. <coughs> right, we need to get into this. Strangely strange character's face. We're going to the eye. I'm not going to go to pure white. It's too. I find it too stark. So it's, it was a very slight off white. I'm going to pick this skin colour again. I'm going to create a little bit of drop shadow. It's very faintly. <coughs> and I want a little bit of blood. There's no in the, in the corner of like the tear ducts. I don't know if this guy needs blue or green eyes. So I can get a little bit of colour in this eye. Maybe you're not gonna see it much. Right, need some colour on this tooth. Nearly there, just a little bit of fun, something to do, yeah, a little troll in it, it's cool. A little bit of yellow on his tooth. I think we need to grab some drop shadows, a little bit more form shadows. Let me get a little bit on the side of this nose. Think about some texture lines on that head. Let's get some, just gonna get darker. Because I want to add almost some form lines that just have a little bit of colour because I'll add a little bit more detail. They're kind of just I'm sculpting them around the shape, I think. I feel the need to do that right now, so that's what I'm doing. Let's get around these lips. A little bit more detail. I can get this line in now that I didn't draw earlier. And get a little bit more. Try and make this finger stand out a bit. A little bit darkening in this nostril. I think I'm nearly done because it's just a little sketch, a little, little concept piece. <laughs> and you could spend hours on it and add lots and lots and lots. But there's a little kind of illustration. Yeah, it's kind of fun. What do you think, Lex? He's kind of fun, isn't he? It's just like you. Well, yeah, I didn't. Yeah, yeah. No, totally. I can see that. Let me just cut off uh, that little colour palette. I'm going to grab that. I'm going to cut it. I'm just going to chuck on another layer. Just put that in there because it's then. And then uh, let me just zoom right out. Well, we've got the flats and the line, which I can't spell. It's called Inei. 
but you know everyone knows me knows that's nothing new. Well, hang on a sec. Photoshop does a new thing now where it scales correctly. <laughs> we're all getting confused. It's, it's good. It's a good thing, but we're just, just all getting confused. I didn't do any work on that. Um, that stone actually. Let me just quickly add a little bit of value on that stone. I need a bigger brush though. Don't want to get too prissy about this, this stone now. Get in here and we'll just... So it's got something going on. A little bit of texture. <laughs> can do a lot with the tree. A little car shadow. Beautiful. I'm gonna grab that again. I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna get. I want to go a little bit colder. So a little bit blue, and then a little bit. I think I went lighter then. We'll see now. Yeah, it's a little bit lighter and a little bit bluer in that grey, just to give me some of that highlight. And I think finally I'm gonna grab that brown. I'm gonna get a little bit stronger in the yellow. And I'm just gonna. I can just do that. Cool. I think he needs. My floor, isn't it? I'm going to grab like a, a floor shadow colour. I'm going to get a big brush. Oops. <coughs> big brush. <laughs> and we're going to drop him in. There he is. It's kind of he's now he's sat there. works. Maybe I'll put a little bit of blur, Gaussian blur, just a little bit. I like the texture though. Maybe I'll just drop that layer down a bit. Awesome. And um, what was my main background? I'm going to unlock that background again. Whoops. I think I'm going to I'm going to get my bucket and I'm going to go to my gradient, I think. I'm going to grab this and grab this. I think what we'll do is we'll just add a little bit of gradient in there. I'm just going to grab that colour and Like that. We're going to OK that and we're going to see see if I do this right. I'm going to try that. Yeah, there he is. He's a little troll. Cool. Anyway, that was a little sketch. It's Nick from Turnip Starfish. Check out our digital painting classes. Um, we're at turnipstarfish.co.uk. Hope you enjoyed it. It's a bit of a silly drawing, but that's what it's all about. I'm going to try and do more of these. This is my plan for 2019. Just got to draw. doesn't matter what you're drawing. Just got to draw more. Cool. Take care.